My name is Ramsony. Welcome back to Atomic Crops. Atomic Crops is actually getting another update in about three days' time. So this is going to be the last video that I record on this patch. Uh, I just wanted to play some more of it, so it's time to play some more of it. I was initially going to wait for the patch, but I'm just too damn keen. <laughs> oh, we got a participation trophy to start off with. That's absolutely incredible. It's the same one that we had. Well, I mean, you know, I guess canonically, considering the time capsule and stuff, it's it's the same one that I had in the previous episode. So I didn't get another participation trophy. I got the same one back. Let's hope this one serves us as well as the prior. Not at all clearing this at any decent speed. I can, however, decide if I would like to. How many times will I hedge my bet in that sentence? Who knows? I'm likely to do it a couple more times, possibly. Uh, I can use the thorn in order to deal a bunch of our damage for us, in order to try and hasten my clear of this side. It does look like basically everything is happening on the top half of this side. Gotta take a pig early. Seems like absolutely everything is up here. Which is good news. Means that the bottom side of the map is going to be pretty sparse. I already got an early pig, so I'll start taking a Nemocris instead. Mostly I'm looking for rain clouds, though. Of course, I also have the participation trophies, so, like, fertilizer is not going to be a problem for us for a while. <gasps> Participation trophy and resilience on day one. If I can get a... Actually, you know what? You don't want a rain cloud when you have resilience on your uh, roses. But I'm going to get my roses to spread. And this is going to be a wild GD run. for the extra rows. I've got to make sure that I never leave a rose behind at this rate because any of them could turn out to be four roses for me suddenly, what with the uh, resilience. Let's take laxative. I don't really like getting that many turrets at all. I kind of prefer to just rely on my own, my own top-down twin-stick shooter. And this... I mean, another reason that turrets is so that you can spend dusk out exploring. And that's, you know, completely reasonable uh, approach to take. But I usually spend the dusk actually doing the farming. First thing I'm going to do is just extend each of these by one. The idea here is I want to give the roses as much area as I can to spread to. And eventually, that will become part of my actual layout, so it's completely fine. Unfortunately, I can only get one four down right now. I should probably put the... Uh... Actually, you know what? I, I intentionally took that damage just so I could move forward and kill the grub in time now. I should probably put down the potatoes, but honestly, we're probably not getting anything more out of today. Doing a whole lot of farming and not a whole lot of attacking anyone right now. It's uh, coming back to bite me. That will have to do for the moment. Ooh, right. I should actually pick up some water because I've just got my... Got my cow going for that at the moment. So, so far we've got three, four, four extra roses as a result of that. Shotgun's too tempting. I have to take it. Too big a fan of the weapon to not. Okay. 
Bounce out of there. Again, we will be looking for Trophalaxis early, but as we get later and later in the run, we'll stop looking for Trophalaxis because we won't be picking up any bees at that rate. If Trophalaxis turns up too late, we won't have taken any bees to support it. I'm gonna go for the quick clear there and take a pig. I don't yet have fertile eggs, so there's no hope for that chicken there. I don't even, like as much as I want fertile eggs in basically every run because it's probably the best way to get fertilizer, that plus the, uh, one second, there we go. Uh, that plus the avian placenta in particular. I've had it in a lot of runs. And maybe if I get, like, patch fertilizer and a couple other things, I can get away without it. Which would save me a lot of my farm animal choices. I don't really know why I picked that battle there. Really ought to have not... I do have the... Wood ship attractor very, very early here as well. So that's going to be contributing to having a whole lot of fertilizer. That's where earthquake can be useful. All right, we do actually get a chicken. Again, anything up against the turret or a scarecrow for me basically is just you take whatever the thing is that's not a turret or a scarecrow. If it's a turret and a scarecrow on offer, well, then you put your hands between your knees. Hands between your knees? No, head between your knees and kiss your butt goodbye. You've got garbage items, and now you'll lose. Ooh, very early organic armor. Organic armor, getting it early, I used to not value it that much, but I do, you know, occasionally take a hit in the early days, let's be real. But the reason I actually value it more now is because of the shrines that offer you a ability to expend one of your hearts in order to increase your fighting stat, because now you can do that with no cost. I kind of still want everything that I plant to be in a 4x4, four four, so I'm really waiting for things to come up. Actually, you know what? I can add to the ones that currently exist, get my 4x4 four four there. Uh, sorry, 4x4. Four four. It's a 2x2, two two, not a 4x4. Four four. So it seems like the tractor does damage when it lands and doesn't necessarily give you fertilizer from the things that die when it lands on them. But there I was just using it to manage enemies rather than get fertilizer or anything such like that. Uh, do I have potatoes? Wow, I have no potatoes? I thought potatoes were explored in the, in the plains. Water is clearly our problem at the moment. I'm not putting down the rain cloud. Not yet. Not while I'm still growing roses. Is that seven roses on day two? I'm gonna take a horse. Fertility seed pro. Increase the chance of seed drop to 30% when harvesting. I don't really want to go seeds if I can avoid it here. But... I'm not going to get that many of them because they're four by uh, two by two crops. Yeah, that's probably safe to take. Hmm. That's really annoying. These are the only two weapons I won't explore with on this day. 
So does that mean I farm all day? I think it does. I didn't buy a weapon for the boss because I have the... Oh, hang on. Just quickly break a couple pieces of soil. I didn't buy a weapon for the boss because I have the thorn that's going to be helping me deal my damage there. really annoying to not be exploring today, especially considering, like, as this character, I don't always get my full exploration off. But oh well. So when you put the rain cloud down, things grow faster, but when they grow faster, they have less time to actually spread to the topsoil. So you miss out on a lot of roses by doing that. That's my refusal to do it at all so far. Another problem is that roses are very, very water hungry. That's a large reason why I'm having trouble watering my crops. Even despite the fact that I am here and so is the cow. go prickly there, prickly there, prickly there, because if it spreads downwards, it'll actually immediately turn into a giant crop. Turn the audio down slightly on my side. As well. Gotta make sure that I plant some of the magical fruit as well. <laughs> Almost got me. I'm just gonna... There we go. <laughs> Make sure that you die. I've acquired a grudge. Okay, 12 seconds. Fine. I can stop beating myself up about having missed out on the area now. Uh, cool. Actually, that's all of our seeds planted. Actually, the, the wood chip attractor is another reason why I'm fine with fighting the boss. Without a weapon upgrade. Please. like a real quick monster pod kill right there like say following monster pod around the map that's the best i can really do i'm pretty good about it i'm gonna pull up all that soil i'm gonna drop one of those and i will actually start a rain cloud at this point just so that I have those roses up before the end of the day. I will miss out on some roses here, but this should mean that I get married by the end of Season 1. And especially if I get married to the right target, which is basically either of the aggressive ones. Uh, I will be able to explore a lot faster. if... Man, it's gonna take me so much to actually square this off now. The pigs did not help me actually turn this into a square plot after I made the little extensions for the sake of the resilience. Yeah, 
That's a good enough day. That'll get us our season one. Easily, in fact. Definitely take the break. I really wanted uh, Rue to be offering something good there. I could take two more thorns, which would actually be kind of funny. Definitely going to take the pig and the bee. So I can either get married right now or I can get two more thorns. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to spread it out and actually just get the good stuff. Okay, I'm exploring again today. Shotgun. Two upgrades. Whoa, both really good upgrades there. Take all of the planks and move on. Fertilize all of those and then dash away. Now, I'm going to the Tundra first here because I don't have much access to water yet. I'm going to pop that there just because then the herd moves into it, getting me a bunch more fertilizer as well. Hatch fertilizer and Till Missile. Well, I lose with Till Missile, but I'm fine. for the extra cow. Definitely necessary. It's also nice that that cow was actually relatively near the exit so that it's a short walk back to base. They don't teleport there and I don't think they even start working until they get there. Like, I don't think another one appears on the farm and then that one disappears by the time it gets to the farm or something like that. Like, they actually do have their little bit of travel time. There's the shrines I was talking about where I offer a health in order to increase my fighting stat. What do you mean there's another option? No, there's not. There's just a shrine where you offer health. If there was another option, I would know. Ooh. Good lord. I am getting some really, really great heartbeat drops. Like, my health bar is already ridiculous. Avian placenta just in case. Laser tracker doesn't matter to me. Another one of the reasons that I'm fine with not going with a turrets build is because it allows you to ignore a whole lot of different upgrades that, like, they can be fine if you have a bunch of turrets. But being capable of ignoring all of those upgrades gives you freedom and flexibility to do so much more with all of your farm animals and stuff. And it simplifies the decision making a hell of a lot. Pretty sure I actually just cleared this. That is not possible. I have this side over here still, right? No, I did. Wow. All right. That was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. I was kind of expecting to do a two day clear there. from my crops, thank you. Okay, I can now plant two pumpkins. I mean, you know what? Actually, if I don't have a rain cloud down right now, we just get the sunflowers down in optimal positions. You know, the sunflowers that I've just pulled out and started to plant, I clearly meant to say roses. I was just looking at the sunflowers as I was scrolling past. Yeah, I'm not going to build the rest of the terrain based on having these roses. Because I did that earlier and I'm still paying for it. There we go. Those will have to do. And then... Get my pumpkins here. Someone asked in a previous episode uh, what the special factor about the pumpkins is because they are similarly colored to the sunflowers. 
the special factor about them is just that they do damage when they get harvested. It's not a significant amount of damage at all, right? Like, comparing it to the sunflowers, the sunflowers very much come out on top. I would love to buy both of those. Oh, dang. If only I had more watering. I'll take three pickaxes, actually. That's really annoying. I might go to the second area of the... of the desert today. Just because if I'm going to be using a sniper rifle, I have to be using it there. The south, the the forest, and the east, the plains, are both swarm areas, and neither of these weapons deals well with swarms. They're very low clip size, very low fire rate. Okay, I got more clip size two times over, but it's still not good for that. Like, it's still a low clip size. And still definitely a low fly rate. Just gonna pop all of those down and then immediately run away. I just want to spend as much time as I can today exploring. We're getting much more powerful very quickly with these explorations, so you can hardly blame me for wanting to keep them up. Plus, now I actually get some tier 3 seeds. Dang. Thought I was just going to be able to maneuver in that way. I mean, look, if that's going to clear two camps for me, I'm very, very pleased with it. In the future, i got to make sure that I shoot the wizards first there, though. So even despite the fact that I'm not going to be taking the sprinkler tractor, I have to clear that camp just in case it has the golden pupa. Because worst case scenario, it has the golden pupa, and then I don't clear it, and I have to come back for it. It's a risk I'm not willing to take. This is an unfortunate thing, but at the very least, my thorns will help me. That is to say, the snakes aren't particularly good for this. Uh, chicken calicry? I mean, I don't have fertile eggs, so I'll ignore it. I do have one chicken, but that's not enough. So that was chicken eggs give seeds. They can give you sunflowers and stuff like that. Uh, God's Demon mentioned this in a previous comment section, which I'm familiar with, but I just usually ignore it unless I have a ridiculous amount of chickens already. Not ridiculous, but like a decent amount of chickens. Ugh, guess I'll take a turret there. There's another turret scarecrow. Sorry, I forgot. You can't stand next to this when it spawns because it does just have those bullets following it. Cleats. Oh, hell yeah. I am actually very glad that uh, weapon options were so limited that I had to come over here because that's where the cleats were. Rain cloud. We've also actually... Oh my god. Did we? We did. We cleared that all in one day. I usually don't clear those areas in a single day. Especially this early. Swarms. I'm gonna wait for the rest of these to come up and then I'm gonna pop down in another anemone. Ah! I accidentally curved a little bit far there and got shot by the sniper instead. Specifically trying to avoid that, but wanted to stay as close as I could to the enemies I was dodging past. That'll do it. Pop that down. And then I'll give it a little bit of fertilizer and I'll finish it off myself.
So you can see that when I use a Blood Rain scroll, the fertilizer also drops on the ground. That's part of the permanent progression upgrades. I pointed it out at the time that we picked them up. That's, uh, I think it would have been episode two where I would have picked that one up or at least pointed out the effect of that one. But it's important to keep in mind because usually I think of Blood Rain as only a way to fertilize my crops, whereas it's also a way to gain fertilizer. harvest as much as possible there just so I can get a better weapon today well guess I'm marrying Norman would you like to consume an alcohol with me let's go find some tasty seeds <laughs> I don't know why it uh, Norman is Bjork <laughs> I was having a lovely time here in the city then I was approached by a farmer with many roses until I married them. We are now going to explore. I need more pickaxes. I do only have two pigs. All right, yeah, most of these are about to come up, so I should probably just pop down my other Anemocry. That is to stay wait here for a moment until they're all harvestable and then do it. really like this weapon, so I'm going to the south just because it's an easier clear for us. Like, Blundbuss is undeniably good, I just don't like it. Ooh, very early Golden Pupa, thank you. Let's try and quickly get that done. Just in case it gives me fertile eggs, then I know to start picking up some chickens. Take air freshener there. I actually hate sprout energy. It's weird. Like, there is such a disparity between some of the items in this game. There used to be a much larger disparity, but I... It's something that I'd like to see future updates address. Like, there's a couple items, like Sprout Energy. You can use it and an Anemocry scroll to, like, one-shot bop a boss. But that's an item that you're using to do that, and a scroll. <laughs> it's a very expensive way to do something that you almost always do anyway. <laughs> Uh, and of course, obviously, the addition there, uh, being air freshener, is you just get into the flow state, which is energized, uh, whenever you use your tractor. That's, like, fine, but getting into flow state doesn't take that long at all. At least, let me get cow. Beautiful. Got it. Get away. <laughs> Dang it. You know what? Getting the cow there is excellent. That's more than enough exploration of that area for today as far as I'm concerned. If the energized state did things for like exploring as well as for farming, then maybe air freshener would make more sense. Because it currently stands, it does not. Either make sense or do anything for exploring that is. Now I do have a turret, I'm just not putting it down. It's <laughs> 
I need it. <laughs> and at this point, like, only one turret is not going to be enough to protect my farm anyway, so. Honestly, the next biggest thing that we can get isn't even a golden pupa thing. It's just trophallaxis. My movement is so limited on these terrains, though. Five, ro uh, five sunflowers at this point. Nice. I probably start the next season by planting all of those and just immediately pulling them up as well. So I'm kind of trying to round this out, but not in a wasteful manner. Just so that I have somewhere to put the roses as well. Yeah, that'll do for now. Second season, if I have to say so myself. Rusty Shocks is an unfortunate pickup there, but at the very least, we then get a drone and we get another drone immediately thereafter. Also, the whiskey shot is taking damage, reduces tractor cooldown. But, and thank you to God's Demon again for this piece of information. Apparently, if you have the counterpart to this, which is foraging berries, reduces your tractor cooldown, the eggs from chickens actually count can actually be quite useful information to have Definitely any of that. honestly like the fact that we got resilience that early means that we will be pretty successful just because of all of the roses that i got getting me a ridiculous amount of upgrades for this early on uh, and obviously my marriage companion Now we're just really worried about score. I'm using a rose tomorrow. Yeah, I can upgrade it one more time. Ooh, we did get toxic spores. Beautiful. Take all of those. No. I'm gonna walk away from that. Mm, go to the second tier north area, I think. Right, I haven't finished the, the forest to the south. Oops. Whatever. Fast decisions, not good decisions. Or rather, fast decisions are good decisions, right? The, the quality of the decision is dictated in this game, not only by whether or not it was correct, but also very heavily, maybe even more heavily than whether or not it was correct, by how quickly you made the decision. I, uh, I think I've explained this every episode as a way to remove culpability from myself for making bad decisions, but I stand by it. I'll take the helpful one. Farm stat up isn't actually that thrilling to me. It also does feel like the farm stat is way less important than the fighting stat, but maybe it's because the when the farm stat does stuff, I don't necessarily notice it, whereas I feel the difference quite heavily between... High fighting stat and low fighting stat. Okay. Side clear. Ah, almost. Yeah, I almost got me with that one. Oh, turret and scarecrow again. There's my second turret. And I even got a super turret as well. So at this point, I have three turrets. I could get Sprinkler Herd. It was offered to me early. I'll take Water Witching there as well. Uh, it was offered to me earlier. And I turned it down. So if I'm going to get it, it's going to be in the town instead. Still need the rain clouds, so... I hate those curving bullets. I really do. It seems like they don't just follow their curving path, they also move. As in like the low 
the center of their curve. I was about to say locus, and then I was like, am I using that word correctly? The center of their circle uh, continues to move. I still haven't found the golden pupa here, have I? Oh, no, I have. And I cleared it. All right. Pretty sure that's... Yeah, time to bounce. Uh, thank you to those of you who suggested doing the... Uh, not saying, but a similar card system, card and coin system that I've been using in Undermine for here. Uh, I do apologize that I haven't necessarily taken your advice. I was just too giddy to record an episode and I didn't set stuff up beforehand. Sorry. It's good advice, though. Much appreciated. So a little bit. Gosh, I am like save all of the kind of tags of damage that I'm taking here, which obviously could be done better. Feeling real confident about my performance in this run. Like maybe we end up with a 40k. Stranger things have happened, and I hasten to remind you, it's on Netflix. You can watch it. That's proof. Right. That'll set us up for the season pretty easily. I'm going to take a drone and another drone. My god. So now Rusty Shocks actually has good effectiveness because I got three drones. <laughs> so now I actually do want things that upgrade my drones and turrets. Whereas previously I'd been avoiding them. Oh my god. Absolute embarrassment of riches here. Uh, so it's three to the south and two to the east. The only more that I have to upgrade. So honestly, just buying one of those is fine. Uh, Rusty SMG, I'm gonna full upgrade it. I'm still getting more roses down despite the fact that there's nothing really to do with them. Almost out of habit, I'll admit. There's no great strategic reason behind doing it. And walk away. Gotta finish this area. I'm pretty sure it's off that side that I've missed. It's not, is it? I'll forage some berries, but dang it. <laughs> there was more to explore, right? camps though. Alright, fine. Now I'll open my path down. I'm not going to be able to clear this in a single day, I'll tell you that much for free. Oh, <laughs> that was an insane amount of fertilizer. My god. I'll take the so shield over the turret growth aura. Although, if I knew that the turret growth aura and my own growth aura stacked, I probably would have taken the turret growth aura. Because then plants would be growing so damn quickly. I don't really want to have to micromanage the position of my turrets, though, especially considering how long it takes to plant them and pull them back up. Earthquakes are no longer a thing I need at all. 
Like, they'll help me do some weeds, but that's about the only benefit we get from it right now. I'll take farm stat up over sprout energy. Is sprout energy, like, didn't just make your next shot better, but made you more powerful for a while or something like that? It would be, you know, a little more useful as part of a hybrid... Like, oh, the, the boss has spawned, but I'm planting down some plants and I'm fighting the boss at the same time. At the moment, it really seems to be pitched around the idea of just one large shot. I'll take the microchip over the pressure watering can, though. Just because I have the drones and I'm continuing to explore at a pretty ridiculous rate. I should also probably put down the... Pit to go home. That's no, fine, I'll do that. I should probably put down the uh da, 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 super turret. At the absolute least. Actually, I'm just gonna put all my turrets in the middle of the map here. Most enemies will never get near that, but at the very least, I'll have the peace of mind of having them out of my inventory, if nothing else. There's a surprisingly low amount of weeds on my plant, uh, on my plot, rather. Like I would have sincerely expected that it was going to get real, real nasty here, what with the one... Two chickens? I think we might have two chickens, actually. Eh. Not that great of a day. I should probably just start buying health every single time I come back to town. We do have a boss to fight today. It's old McDonald. Oh my god! Another rain cloud, yes. Yeah, I should just pop a rain cloud when I go back then. Really? This is a side I cleared out that time? Gosh, every single time. I'm trying to punk myself, basically. I'm trying to figure out which side do I think I went last time? Like, or, or rather, hang on, wait. There's a way to explain this. <laughs> every single time, I'm like, which way do I think I went last time? I probably went the other way, so I will go the other, other way. It's a big old self got him. Yes, I saw the chicken. I'll go back down for it. God, I love when all of the combat is so easy like this. Let's retract a slot. There's a second, uh... There's a second, uh, muncher over here. I may as well pick that up while I'm in this area. Where's the second muncher? Game. Yep, I'm officially wasting time, so I'm bouncing out. <laughs> I, I don't care about the extra muncher anymore. I must be near crops in order to use my <laughs> my scrolls and it doesn't count when I'm there that's weird it definitely should count that <laughs> just 
trying to get all of these fertilized and holy. Ain't no smog checks in the country, kiddo. What? It's a smog check. Is it a pun? What? Huh? Oh, Mac, just please spawn so I may murder you. Much obliged. If nothing else, this run probably has like the largest amount of roses that any of my runs have ever had. Not that that's helpful, but it's true. I've got to remember, I have the growth aura, so I should stand near things if I want them to just suddenly pop up. Rather than just constantly be roaming. Focusing for just a second there and immediately take a hit. At least it's only against my temp HP. Perfect. Alright, now all these high quality seeds. The problem is, as soon as I plant them, I'm no longer going to have any high quality seeds at all. Like, I don't have ways to get them back. Oh well. What's got to happen, it's got to happen. so far. Do I have any more sunflowers at this point? I'm pretty sure I just have two. Three. Yeah. Not great. Turret growth aura. Still in the middle of the map then. Uh, like I can buy the scarecrows. So scarecrows cost two roses, but they also only cost a hundred gold. The same as a pickaxe when they're in the shop. Scrolls, I... Scrolls I understand, because like to me it's crazy that scrolls are even sold in the shop, but why is scarecrows in the rose shop when they're so bad and don't synergize with anything? Like nothing in the game synergizes with them so far. I prefer the assault rifle. Dang, we did get homing there at the very end. Tier 1 seeds. No, not interested. Is that... Yeah, there's just one more place to explore now. Okay. Right, I was in the middle of planting these. These should probably be going closer to the turrets now. What with the whole aura. Good ones down, and then honestly, I don't want to waste the rest of my day here, so I'm bouncing. I want to finish the exploration on this side of the map. See, I told you it can only give you fighting stats. Even if you clearly don't need any more fighting stats because you're about to finish clearing an area of, uh, like, almost all of the areas of the game. Oops. I really should have looked into other options at that point in time. Oh, the rain cloud. Oh, 
Tilt Soil lasts longer. Doesn't matter when I have the cleats. It's already super easy to till my soil. Pick this up first, just in case. Again, fertile seeds. Backup generator. Oh. Take another B. I'm still holding out for that Calicry. Uh, Calicry, sorry, the uh, Trophallaxis at this point. If you're wondering what Trophallaxis is, it is B's water crops. That's, that's why I keep pointing it out. I've pointed it out a couple times in previous episodes, which is why I just took for granted that you might know it at this point. But eh, not everyone shoots into every episode, so... Worth at the very least re-explaining. Trophallaxis. Thank you very much. I actually do have like a surprising amount of bees because there were bees up against turrets constantly. I'm going to allow myself to lose a couple of my plants just to finish my exploration today. Because if I finish my exploration today, I don't really need to buy that many more guns. Or at the very least, the guns I buy can be garbage. So it saves me a lot of money at the absolute least. Alright, I forgot that these are crops that I definitely, desperately do not want to have die. Whoops. Thankfully, it looks like none of them actually did manage to get et in that time. This is still digging into my reservoirs of... Digging quite deep, in fact, into my reservoirs of fertili uh, fertility. Yep, that's right. Um, uh, by the end of this run, I'm going to be infertile. Not that that's a problem. <laughs> Not for the, ob <laughs> the obvious reason that, you know, if my relationship works out, it's not you know, a biological possibility. Uh, but also because... I'm very much in the camp of, I don't know if at the very, I don't know if it's, I, I, I don't want to start an argument. So this is just how I feel. I, 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 I'm taking nothing away from those of you who do wish to have kids. I personally don't find it moral at the moment to bring a kid into the world. <laughs> Hence it not being relevant to me. See, even that, right? I got all of the good crops down, and even that would have been outclassed by, you know, normal crops and just two max sunflowers. Sunflowers are definitely the build. Personally, for myself, I'm casting no aspersions on any other person. I d please do not argue with me on this. I, I do not want to enter an argument. <laughs> uh. So... Over the course of having a YouTube channel for as long as I have, you start to be you start to be a little bit prescient with respect to comments sections. Uh, not not obviously every comment, but whenever I do or say something in an episode, sometimes I'll like have a scrolling list of all the comments in my head, and I can kind of like already read them at that point. I've just enough experience with the uh, with saying things and the things that get responded to. Uh, and, and that kind of locks me up, like, as soon as I'm like, oh no, like, another example would be, uh, playing quite poorly or, like, throwing a run or something like that. Then I'm, like, immediately reading the comments that are gonna come in response to that episode in my head, and so I'm already feeling like, oh no, I feel disappointed in myself, that kind of thing, and then I carry that energy into my commentary. So I'm gonna try and not do that here, as long as we all agree that we're not gonna talk about that. Or at least not argue about it. Savvy? All right. Back to the farm. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we have oh, decent amount of seeds to go down. Yeah, back down. I actually do have way too many weeds going on at the moment as well. Thing is, I actually kind of want to try and get rid of. I 
Uh, I want to try and get rid of my Anemocrees while the rain cloud is up. So I actually might still pop that earlier. Because it would have taken me ages to plant all of my good things there. Too long. I also got to be mindful that I don't use all of my fertilizer here because I do have good crops later on. It's good. While I'm moving around to fertilize each of the plants, I'm also actually tagging all of them with the growth aura. Rain cloud's gone. So another one. It's honestly quite effectively getting all of them up. Hey. Uh, while everything else is waiting, I'm going to start getting these down. Not where I wanted that to spawn. I'm going to miss out on a mega tomato as a result of some of the planting that I just did there. Oh well. Best not to dwell on my mistakes. And just focus on what I can do now. Not just in Atomicross, but broadly. If you can swing it, of course. I'm not saying that that's an easy thing necessarily to do. So I don't have a boss for a while yet. I'm finally actually remembering to use cleats. Back in my original series for this game, I uh, did not. It was kind of like Frozen Eye in uh, SDS. I'd get them, they'd be great for me, and then I just wouldn't use them. Thank you all for staying the hell away. I gotta focus on the combat here just a little at least. I mean, I have no exploring to do tomorrow, so I'm doing all of my farming that day anyway. Or rather, I'm doing all farming that day, not all of my farming. Still got a bit more to do. But if this doesn't do that well for an exclusive non- uh, non-sunflower run then i know that like basically sunflower is exclusively where it's at like yes i could have had a watering tractor to get more aloe but i couldn't do that super effectively without a much 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 micromanagement uh because of the participation trophy and the participation trophy has contributed a lot to my run as well Yeah, I'm expecting like a 44 at this rate. You know what? My attack stat is so high that I'm going to take the Butcher's Knife and perma, up, uh, perma uh, fully upgrade it. And that ought to really be enough to take out the bunny. Time to finally get started planning all of these. Good lord, there's way too many of them. <laughs> right, 
to. I'm not placing all of them perfectly, but it's never going to work out entirely perfectly in this set. So. I'll take fast over perfect again. Nearly every time. Obviously, like, for heart surgery, you're going to want one that's slow. And completely perfect. But, you know, here, where the stakes aren't life and death, I'm fine with it. So I don't really know at all what's going to be in the next update. I haven't seen any teasers or anything like that. If anyone has, then <clears throat> I'd love to know. And also, you know what? I don't even know if the update is confirmed for that day. I should definitely add that. I'm almost certain it'll be coming out that day because for three months now, they've always released an update on the 19th. And it's the 19th in a couple days time, but... I don't want to make promises that the dev team haven't already necessarily made. So I'll say I suspect there'll be the update out on that day. Perfect. I'm going to sing you a lulla die. <laughs> nice. Stop moving away from my stuff, Undertaker. I was going to put two tractors on top of you at the same time. It was going to be great. Come on, Undertaker. I need this to be quick. Can get back to planning. Thank you. Take all my rewards and march on. Good. I'll plant the crummy crops now. Because I should be able to get both of my Anemocris. Done pretty early here. Honestly, Tilt Soil lasts longer. Like, at, at this rate, it might have actually been a good idea. In fact, it would have been a good idea at this rate. Ooh, I, I regret having not taken it. I had to spend a lot of time with these cleats actually clearing this out. Imagine if I didn't have cleats. This would be such, such a labor. Should have quickly put down my anemocry before the end of the day, because then it would have immediately grown. But you know, it wouldn't have given me that much at all. Sprout energy! We finally got it! Hey! Anemocry and two cows. Not bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really like, uh... Bubble, 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 bubble. I really like the kind of, like, nonsense words in the soundtrack. I'm super into it. Uh... 
Kind of reminds me of uh, <laughs> of uh, Planet Coaster's Boobily. Which I cannot believe I actually got to s Like, there was a live performance of it out there on YouTube. It's so good. If, if you know the game, you know the one I'm talking about. Trust me. You don't get it out of your head if you've heard it. Now, my plan here is kind of just to wait until all of these are harvestable before I harvest any of them, just in case they do contribute to my score. I don't think they do, though. I don't know if the nuclear winter uh, harvests contribute at all. Still these. I still can't believe that like the first time I fought this boss, I didn't know how to damage them. <laughs> still beat him. Just by living long enough. It was in year one, to be fair. Alright, that's everything. Bye. Really? That's the best I could do in a non-sunflower focused run, and it's 39. Ugh. Yikes. Like, all of these are sunflower abuse runs. You can see the difference, right? You can see the homogeneity of the score of the non-sunflower runs, or at least the high scores on the non-sunflower uh, sunflower runs. And then the sunflower runs. Just gonna end my name there again. And I think at this point, past this point, I'm gonna continue focusing on sunflowers and see if I can get above 100k. But, there'll probably be an update between now and then, so we'll see if that happens to affect how it's done. For the moment, my name is Ben Rhapsody, the name of the game is Vina Tomacrops, there's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content of the game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.